Kansas City Chiefs take another defensive player. It's George Karloftis out of Purdue at 30 overall. So now they get Trent McDuffie, the cornerback out of Washington. That's going to upgrade the defense. Karloftis, we knew that edge was a huge need for the Chiefs. And I think, hey, look, Karloftis was 10th on the PFF draft board. Yeah. We liked him a lot, so obviously really big fans of this pick at 30. Yeah, this actually is quietly one of the biggest sort of hauls of the draft in terms of players on the PFF board that we really liked. Uh, McDuffie, spectacular player. We knew we thought he would fall because of size concerns and how many teams sort of would rule out a guy of those dimensions, even if his tape's really good. And then Carl Oftis was the guy who just didn't seem to have the buzz of any of these other edge rushers. And even if he was really productive and just a really good player, as the draft approached, we were hearing about him potentially sliding into the second round and it wouldn't have been a big surprise. But Carl Oftis, incredibly productive this past season at Purdue. Overall PFF grade of 87, pass rushing grade above 90, 54 pressures. Okay, didn't have a ton of sacks, but he affected the quarterback consistently. He affected the run game a lot as well. This is... He was a just a disruptive, productive guy who saw a decent amount of double teams and was able to get through them anyway and, and make plays. Yeah, and a lot of people linked Boye Mafe, the yeah. Minnesota edge defender, as the guy here. And Mafe is the guy that he's just got he's got really good burst off the edge. And I don't think you always see that from Carl Loftus, but you see the power, right? You see the strength that he has. And the guy just wins. I know Renner gave him a nine out of ten for strength. And a 9 out of 10 for hand usage, right? And when you see that profile at edge, it doesn't go top 10, right? It, it just doesn't. Guys who just win with technique and power, it doesn't always play as far as yeah, the, the thing that's going to you know make teams look at upside and projection and all that stuff. But I don't know if it matters, right? I don't think it matters with Karloftis. I think you're going to get a very good player who can rush the passer, uh, compress the pocket, and that's what you're looking for here with Chris Jones penetrating from the middle, Carl Loftus' ability to win with power off the edge and then set the edge in the run game. Love this fit for the Chiefs. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's obviously a position of need. It's one of the best players uh, at a position of need. He has a spectacular pass rush win rate in in last season in college. He was always productive. And he reminded me a lot of Brandon Graham. Right, we started, yeah. There was a while where we were uh, mocking him to the Philadelphia Eagles, really to replace Brandon Graham or succeed him within that defense. And I think it, it actually, it's, it's a playing style comp. It works well there. But also, Brandon Graham was perennially underrated, even in the NFL, despite weirdly being a first round pick. Usually that stays with players well beyond like a rational uh period of time right and even if they are producing they they get the love because they were former first rounders brandon graham despite being a former first rounder was seen as this sort of letdown and disappointment the guy that was never really that great because he didn't get a ton of sacks but he did always generate a lot of pressure and was really impactful and disruptive both as a pass rusher and against the run and eventually you know, everybody started to kind of come around to the idea and appreciate that, hey, this dude is just really good. It doesn't matter if he gets 15 sacks or five sacks in a season. He's a really top-tier edge rusher. And I think Carl Loftus feels like that kind of player. He may never be, you know, a 15-sack guy, but he is going to screw up blocking assignments. He's going to screw up quarterback uh, pockets. He's just going to be a disruptor consistently and that's something that the Chiefs don't have right now. If he is like Graham, and, and the reason why I think Graham was underrated is, you know, six sacks, seven sacks a year, even though he had all those pressures, that could be enough with Chris Jones on the interior, right? You just want disruption. Let in, You get Chris Jones on the interior, and there's still probably more work to do for the Chiefs. But overall, coming away with Carl Loftus in the first round, coming away with Trent McDuffie in the first round, no receiver for them either. But they have a lot of picks to play with. We'll see if that ends up being a place where they attack. But clearly the Chiefs spending this offseason getting rid of Tyree Kill and getting that defense back on track.